Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 26th series of uh, Protein uh, Tertiary Structure Prediction by Abinitio Method. So Abinitio Method. So you have a sequence and uh, you have to build a model such that you work for uh, drug discovery uh, by molecular docking or whatever it is. So as we know the X-ray, NMR, cryo-electron microscopy are time consuming and costly. So we go for what is the solution is you do a blast and then you go for homology modeling or threading. Okay. Suppose homology modeling and threading could not be used. For example, if the homology models are not available that is less than 40 percent then you go for threading. But threading loops has to be available in the database. Even that is not so, then you go for ab initio method. We'll see what it what is ab initio method. So in ab initio method, assume that we have a raw primary sequence of the target protein blast with the PDB database. Similar protein structures, uh, if not available in the database. Uh, if tertiary structure is not available, uh, then homology modeling could not be done. So threading can be possible. But if the tertiary structure of the loops are also not known, only then ab initio method could be used. So ab initio method, so you have a sequence, you do a basic local alignment search tool, you do a protein blast, it searches in the database. So similar structures are not available, similar loops are not available, then you can go for ab initio method. So ab initio protein structure prediction is a computational approach to predict the three dimensional structure of a protein solely based on its amino acid sequence without relying on the experimental data or known protein structures. The term ab initio is a Latin term uh, that is from the beginning and in this context it means starting from the first principles without any prior structural information it is based on the thermodynamic hypothesis uh, proposed by anfinson uh, that is a native structure corresponds to the global free energy minimum under the given set of conditions so uh, it is based only on the thermodynamic principles at the global energy minima it will fold uh, such that uh, it will retain its uh, properties. So, when it is uh, in the low energy level, it could be you can get the protein, that is the concept. At the low energy level, you will get the tertiary structure. When, when a high force is given, it will unfold. And that is the basic concept behind ab initio method. So proteins are composed of linear chains of amino acids and the way they fold into their functional three dimensional shapes is critical for their biological activity. Experimental methods for determining the protein structures such as XRD and NMR can be time consuming and expensive. As a result, ab initio protein structure prediction has been an active area of research aiming to provide valuable insights into protein structure and function in a more efficient and cost effective manner. First, uh, the uh, representation of the protein. The protein's amino acid sequence is converted into a mathematical representation that captures the spatial arrangements of its uh, constituent amino acids. Sampling conformational space, various algorithms and methods are employed to explore the vast conformational space of possible protein structures. These algorithms search for the most energetically, energetically favorable arrangement of the protein's amino acids seeking to find uh, the favorable arrangement of protein amino acids that is in, in native fold how it will appear uh, and this method will uh, closely resemble the biologically active conformation. Scoring and refinement each uh, generated uh, protein structure is uh, scored uh, based on its uh, stability and agreement uh, with the input amino acid sequence. The scoring function aims to evaluate how well a given structure satisfies uh, the principles of protein folding such as avoiding the steric clashes and forming favorable interactions between the amino acid residues. Refinement methods, uh, it can be used uh, 
to further improve the predictor structure and increase its accuracy. Uh, the steps in the uh, ab initio protein structure uh, prediction are first is optimization of the query sequence. Uh, define the basic model. Then define a basic uh, functional mapping structure to the numerical value. Then solve the computational problem for finding the global minimum. Simulation for actual holding process. Build an accurate initial model with energy and forces. Accurately simulate the dynamics of the system. The native structure will emerge. Rosetta Protein Structure Prediction Software. There is an online tool where you can use uh, for this. So Rosetta is a widely used uh, software for suit for protein structure prediction and the computational uh, uh, protein design. It was developed by uh, a team at the University of Washington led by David Baker and has become one of the most prominent tools in the field of structural bioinformatics. Rosetta uses combination of physics based energy functions, optimization algorithms and the sample uh, methods to predict and model the structures. Ab initio protein structure uh, prediction, uh, Rosetta employs a uh, method called Monte Carlo with minimization to explore, explore the conformational space of the protein and predicts its uh, three-dimensional structure from the amino acid sequence. It involves sampling uh, different conformations and minimizing their energies to identify low energy structures that may correspond to the native fold. Advantages and limitations of ab initio prediction, uh, pr prediction of uh, protein structures. Advantages uh, it can give insights uh, into the folding mechanisms. It does not require homology or folds uh, from the database. It is useful for uh, de novo protein design. But there are uh, some limitations uh, for this uh, ab initio method. That is, it is not, uh, it is applicable only for smaller sequences. And that is less than 100 amino acids. So, it's not applicable for large sequences uh, of uh, proteins uh, with more than 100 amino acids. In reality, most of the amino acids uh, proteins are having numerous amino acids, that is more 1000 amino acids may be there also. It is a very expensive uh, method and uh, it is uh, successful uh, only for smaller proteins and accuracy for the larger proteins is low. So, uh, the ab initio method is preferable only when homology uh, modeling fails and threading modeling uh, fails. Then only you can go for ab initio method. So it's a very short information of ab initio method of protein structure prediction. I hope uh, it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Kindly go through all the series which is available in the uh, Pharma Topics channel for principles of uh, drug discovery um, and uh, get uh, um, for more marks you go through all the series and uh, all the best for your exams. Uh, thank you.